What's up guys, Swift here. I just had a couple of quick points I wanted to make after rewatching last night's show with Adam Mason. Too many people continue to want to make it Justin Fields versus Caleb Williams. It's never been about that for me. It was always Caleb Williams versus the hall of picks we could have. But Caleb has always been my top quarterback in this class. And after seeing what Ryan Poles did last year, the hall was just too enticing to think about. Just look at what he got last year. If he takes Caleb Williams number one overall, that means we got Caleb Williams, DJ Moore, Darnell Wright, Tyreek Stevenson, plus a second rounder next year, and you can even include Keenan Allen in there too. Now to be clear, we traded a fourth rounder to get Keenan Allen. We did not trade the fourth rounder we got from moving down from the nine pick last year, but we still traded a fourth for Keenan. So I'm including him with an asterisk because if we didn't get that extra fourth rounder next year, we might not have been able to trade for Keenan. But just look at the haul we got. It was the best move any GM has ever pulled off in my lifetime. I was okay if he wanted to do it again. But once Ryan Poles planted his flag, once he traded Justin Fields, I think the decision became clear that Caleb Williams was the guy. Now the Bears will still continue to do their due diligence, and Ryan Poles will draft the player they believe is the best quarterback in this class, but that's been Caleb Williams for a long time. He's been the unanimous top quarterback in this class for more than a year now. His arm talent is special. To be fair, I get the Patrick Mahomes comps. I just hate that for Caleb Williams. The problem with it is it's the same people using those comparisons that will be the first people to turn on him if he doesn't live up to the hype. Look at our last two quarterbacks, Justin Fields and Mitch Trubisky. It was the same people that hyped them up as MVP candidates. Yeah, they really did that with Mitch and Justin. And yes, it was the same people that as soon as they started to fail, those guys were the first ones to lead the charge, hating on them and tearing them down. I've always supported our quarterback. I was not a Mitch Trubisky fan. I was devastated when we took Mitch. I thought Deshaun Watson was the pick. I still got labeled as a truther though on social media because I supported our quarterback. I also supported Justin Fields, but he was a guy that I actually believed in. We simply did not put him in a position to succeed, but he didn't get it done either. We need to get it right this time. We need to put Caleb Williams in a better situation to succeed. And so far, everything Ryan Poles is doing hints that he's going about the process the correct way. My biggest point of this is that to me, Caleb Williams was always the best quarterback in this class. That's never been a question for me. I've said that literally the entire time. There are just too many people out there that still do not understand context and they're still making this Caleb Williams versus Justin Fields. When in reality, it was never about that. Ryan Poles said it himself and I said it all off season. Once the decision was made to move on from Justin Fields, I believe it just became about doing as much background and research as possible on Caleb. But to me, he is the guy. I never believe anything is 100% until it actually happens, but I do think this decision is pretty close to being final. I think Caleb Williams will be a Chicago Bear. I believe he will be the number one pick in the draft less than a month from today. And I think as fans, we all need to come together and support our quarterback. That's something that I've always done and will continue to do no matter who the quarterback is, even if it's Tyson Bajan. That's not a shot at Tyson, by the way. I love Tyson Bajan. And then I have one final thing I wanted to talk about this morning, Malik Neighbors. I mentioned in last night's video that I thought there are four other receivers that are better fits for the Chicago Bears and fit alongside DJ Moore better. I think the way a lot of people took it was that I had Malik Neighbors as my fifth ranked receiver. That is not true. I think Malik is a top five player overall in this NFL draft, and he's easily a top three receiver. If he's on the board at number nine, I would love it if Ryan Poles picked him. But I do like Romo Dunze and Marvin Harrison Jr. more. But I think I have underrated Malik Neighbors a little bit. He is an athletic freak, and I think I've honestly put too much into his size. The dude has a 42-inch vertical. He can be a red zone threat. He can win jump ball catches. I love Malik Neighbors, and I just wanted to make that point clear. 
I think my comment last night didn't really line up with how I feel about his game. I think he's an athletic freak, and I think he's going to be a stud in the NFL. That's all I have for now. If you missed it, I dropped a video with Adam Mason last night. It's a two-parter, one on my channel, one on his channel. And I have a ton more content on the way. Please remember to hit that like button for me. And until next time, bear down.